Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Minecraft. As you can see, we've had some breeding going on. Unfortunately, though, I still haven't gotten a librarian. I mean, look at all these guys in here. That's Zeke right there in the white jacket. He's our map maker. No librarian. No librarian yet, but it's all right. We got our love shack up and running. It's the Love Shack, baby! If you guys don't know that song, it's the it's the Love Shack by the B-52s. Go check it out. It's hilarious. Very kitschy. Uh, but, but, you know, before we get jumping into it today, I've been talking about making that tree over there in our garden. You know what I'm talking about. And I, I was talking about the replay mod in my last video and having trouble with it. Another humongous thank you to my friend uh, Al, the Cult of Snacks Noodle, Baron Von Strudel, for helping me fix it. Um, now, there is a lot of steps involved in getting the replay mod on your computer and functioning properly. Of course, you have to install the proper replay mod file. You have to install FFmpeg. There's two different files for that. And, you know, you have to install Forge, of course, because Replay Mod is a mod, and Forge boots mods. So, yeah, uh, if you guys want to check out the Replay Mod for your your own use, I will link a tutorial video in the description, because, frankly, if I try to link you to all the links, I'll probably get confused and give you the wrong ones. So, I'll find the tutorial video again. It's the best one that I had found. He was very clear and concise about it, and it was perfect. So, I will link that in the description if you want to use it. But in the meantime... I'm very, very, very excited about the replay mod feature now because it's going to totally change the way I do montages on this channel. They're much more entertaining, fun, and interesting to watch, and it's just going to—it just kind of takes the quality that I can produce up to that next level. So, you guys, here is the uh, the making of the tree over there that I said I would do on camera, but montage because it does take me a long time to make a tree. It took me about 20 minutes to make the tree or so. Um, so yeah, I don't want to spend 20 whole minutes in a video, you know, slowly pillaring up and placing leaves and stuff, you know, so, um, yeah, enjoy the montage, guys, I think you're really going to like it and be excited about it, because I'm very excited about it, enjoy, and I'll be right back.
Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed that montage. I think it is freaking spectacular, man. Hey, what's up, dude? Yeah, we actually have enough villagers in here. It spawned an iron golem all on its own. Um, but yeah, we're of course, this is temporary, guys. Don't worry. We're going to be getting all these guys out of here soon. Um, I just need to figure out where I want to uh, make their village at. And so, yeah, um, we've got our trees over there. We still got more to make, of course. And I went ahead and made this one. I'm going to do some more pine trees, you know, kind of this way and that. So, for those of you, if you, you know, want to make a pine tree, it is a paid in the batonka donk. It took me, oh, I don't know, 40 minutes or so to make this guy. Um, and, yeah, I, I flew over to, you know, we'll just fly over there just to show you in case you forgot. If you're playing on the seed with me, then you'll know where to go for some pods all. I went and I grabbed a whole bunch of pods all and a whole bunch of coarse dirt. And honestly, I don't need to fly any further. Once you see this, just keep going straight for a little further and you'll find it. It's right in front of you. Um, but yeah, there, it's a huge, huge mega tiger biome. You'll find the pods all. You'll find all that good stuff that you want. Um, and so yeah, I thought it would make great detail you know, under the tree on the bottom of it there. And shlunk, let's go down. That's what she said. Oh, she didn't. Let's not go there today. That's what she said. <laughs> All right, and so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys like what I've done here. So I made you know our little outcropping, and I made it look pretty natural. I think I did a pretty good job of that. And here's our little you know little grotto, our little rails and you know path and light. And I changed the pathing. I got to fix this too. Um, and I changed the pathing over here as well. I like this more. I think up there we're going to stick with the dirt path, though, because it's a farm place, you know, so it's more farmy. Um, and I also changed this around a bit because I really did not like it. And honestly, I still don't like it as much as I could. It's still not detailed enough, but I'm going to work on it gradually here and there. Ah, uh, yeah, let me show you. So, you know, I, did, I redid this. I think the brick just did not work. Um, I don't know. It just This wasn't the kind of build that should use brick. It didn't work. Yeah, so I made a forge out of stone bricks, you know, and I kind of made it look beat up and old and stuff with spaces and gaps in it. Um, yeah, and we got some stuff going on here. Here's our awesome map wall, which I just love so much. And there's our excellent pine tree now right there. And you can see our path going right there. Um, yeah, I love it. It's nice. And I scooched that back to there. And so, yeah, that's where we're at right now. Guys, the buck story. I'm going to talk about that in the next video. I just wanted to make sure I gave it enough time to let anybody who wanted to participate, participate. So I will talk about whose story I liked the most in the next video. So fret not. I haven't forgotten. I've just been trying to give those of you who might have come later to the video enough time to do so. And so, yeah. Now, just really quick, what I'd like to do is... It is October now. Yesterday, by the way, was my son's birthday. Well, by the time you guys see this video, it'll be the day before yesterday. Uh, and so, yeah. But it is October. Yeah. And so, let's get some jacolantins kind of placed. You know, a little bit of, little bit of ambiance. Get these torches out of meal. Now, I got plenty of jack-o'-lanterns so we're just gonna scatter them all over the place don't really matter where at it's, it's you know it's October so it is the Halloween month we gotta get some jack-o'-lanterns around and about so oh yeah this will look cool let's get right there like that and on this tree too right here we're gonna just kind of place them wherever oh my eyes burn I'm tired I'm always tired man oh all right Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I had a, um, like, I don't know, I guess a temporary pumpkin patch, like, right here. I just got rid of it. And I just, you know, grew a bunch of pumpkins so I'd have enough to do some jack-o'-lanterns. And so here we go. We now got some jack-o'-lanterns. Just gonna scatter them. And I also figured out a way to uh, make a copy of my save world. So... Now, if uh, until I get you know things settled, I still haven't tried Bandicam yet, mate. I know, and yeah, I said mate. That's right. I I, I can't help it. I speak. I say a lot more words that like people in the UK use. I mean, I don't know. I just like the way that that UK that the English is in the UK. I don't know why, dude. I mean, I don't know. It just I think it works better. I don't know. It's all right. I like it. 
And, um, but so yeah, I haven't tried Bandicam yet, man. Um, but I will eventually, if not sooner. Um, so yeah, I'm just basically, you know, while I'm trying to figure this all out, I, uh, I, I complained about it on Twitter, you know? I mean, uh, someone left the channel the other day. They said I'm whiny. And you know what? I can't, t I can't totally fault them for that. You know, that's kind of true. I mean, I do, I do whine a bit sometimes. And you know what? I'm sorry for that, you guys. I don't intend to be whiny. You know, I mean, really, I don't intend to. Um, I just like to share with you what's going on and, you know, what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling. And I guess that'll come out as whiny sometimes. So I apologize. And to the person we lost, I'm sorry as well. Now, those of you, if you track down the comment, he was very nice and respectful about it. So, you know, don't don't jump down his throat. I completely respect the way he said it. And I completely respect how he feels about it. But <laughs> having said that, you know, I just want to say I, I complained on Twitter. You know, I'm, I was really mad. I've been I had been emailing back and forth with Elgato, and um, and the only response I got back was an email from them thanking me for my interest in a sponsorship with them, which was so not what the email that I had sent was about. You know, and so I was really freaking mad, dude. I'm like, you know, come on, man, like. It's an automated reply, you know, so I assumed it would be like a few more days, you know, and then I get something from them, you know, telling me that they're working on it or whatever. I don't know. But I mean, no, they didn't. Um, they didn't send me anything and I was really pissed. So I'm like, you know, what? screw that, dude. I'm saying something. So I got on Twitter and I said, you know, I've I spent 200 bucks on this, man, and it's not working. And, you know, for $200, I expect something, you know, that, that's a working product, as I think anyone would. Um, so... And then, you know, they actually replied back to me on Twitter because I said their customer service sucks. It does. Um, and so, yeah, they replied back to me on Twitter. And they're like, oh, no, you know, what's the uh, what's the what's the case number? You know, look into it. And I'm like, dude, I don't know what the case number is. I don't they didn't give me one. They sent me an email back, you know, thanking me for my interest in partnering. And that was it. I don't really know what's going on. Um, so, yeah, but uh, I'm going to give it a little longer. And if I don't hear from them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah. We'll see what happens there. Um, yeah, so we're just throwing some cobwebs up, guys. Again, trick-or-treat, Halloween, October, and everything. So, yes. We've got to make it Halloween-ish. Halloween-y. Something. I don't know. <gasps> oh, it's him. Yeah, I let him out of my, uh, you know, my blacksmith's area. I let him out of there. So, he's just kind of running around now, I guess. Um, do you want to die, man? Don't freaking be an idiot. You were... Like, you were right over there by that house, man. You were, like, about to go in the door. How come you did not go in the door? Do you want to die, Mark? Huh? That's fine. You know, I don't even care, dude. Because I've got others just like you here, man. Don't bother me none. Don't bother me none. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> stupid, stupid Mark. Let's see. Let, you know, let's go now and put some... And by the way, you know what? When it's time for Christmas, we'll go and we'll Christmas up this tree, you know? And I'll put a little star on the top and we'll go and, you know, make it all, all Christmas-like. It'll be sweet. Uh, ouch. I'm going to have to run through. It's going to take me forever to go through here and, like knock down all these webs with a pair of shears but that's all right I, you know i don't care all right so now let's just go and throw a couple more webs on these trees up here i'm not going to worry about uh you know doing webs over here on the farm so who cares i'm not not worried about it all right now what we're going to do today after we're done doing this which we're just about finished with is we're going to do some work on our little farmhouse now i'm really worried about this too because you guys know i'm not super comfortable with my house making skill i don't know man i want to do a nice house i just i want to freaking do like a nice house man and i'm not freaking out confident in my ability yeah, I don't know, but we're going to try it. So, all right, let me put these guys away here. Excuse me real quick. Okay, eat some grubbage. And now, all right, so we're going to need some a whole bunch of oak, actually. And let's get some dark oak up in me all. We're going to start there, and we'll see what happens. Wait. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. 
what yeah <laughs> well we'll just go I don't know I mean well, you know if we go and we just make it kind of plain and boring we can go back through and um, we can you know make it look nicer switch blocks out and stuff that's usually what I do and you know since I went back and kind of revisited the forge and fixed it up a little bit um, I'm probably gonna do that in this series too as well I'll do build revisits I already know I'm for sure going to do a build revisit on our windmill because it's not quite right. The blades aren't as long as they should be. I mean, I know they look okay, but for like an actual windmill, the blades on an actual windmill are so much longer than that, dude. I mean, they're freaking long. So I want to make the windmill taller and I want to do a lot more detail on it. So yeah, we're going to do uh, we're going to do build revisits throughout the series too and we're going to go back through, we're going to you know, fix builds that uh, just ultimately, you know, we could have done better. So we're gonna we're gonna do that so we can fix stuff up a little bit. Um, and yeah, but let's go in the meantime and get this thing kind of going here. Got these out, dude. Oh man, I freaking hate working on houses. I just I'm not confident in my house making ability by the way we will be revisiting the little house down there too I don't know um, I'm thinking about making this or another house my actual house and making that down there just I don't know like maybe a little fishing shack or something like that so uh, I'm not too sure but yeah I'm just I'm not I'm not happy with it so I can I can do better I can do better Alright, cool. There we go. Now we got tons of wood. I hear a skelly. Dude. Huh. I don't know. I don't know where he's at. I would think he was under me, but I know I didn't make this hollow. However, there could have been caves down there too, and I just didn't see them. Alright. Oh, excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, I'm tired. Man, oh, dude. I'm, I'm just, like, tired. Holy criminy. Now, I'm going to go through. Get that. Do you know what I like? And I'm sure that there will be those of you who disagree with me. And I know. And that's totally okay. That is absolutely all right. Because we don't all have to have the same views on this channel. That's the beauty of it. Um, but you know what makes me happy is now I'm seeing all these like commercials about, you know, like, I'm not sure, Zales maybe or something, I don't know. These companies that do rings and stuff, you know, and like diamonds companies and stuff, their commercials show same-sex couples now. So they show gay couples. And I love that. I think that's fantastic, dude, you know? I mean, really, because love is not just with heterosexual couples. And, you know, I mean, love is between any two people, whether they're both male or both female or male and female. Doesn't matter. And you know what? I love my dog. And he's a totally different species than me. I mean, I wouldn't marry him, but, you know. I mean, maybe I would. I love my dog. I don't love my dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't love him. But I love my dog. But you guys know that, so... <laughs> Um, but yeah, so I don't know, I just, I was seeing, I was watching, you know, my wife was watching This Is Us last night, I'm sure many of you know what that show is. I don't really care for it, not because I don't think it's a good show, because I think it's a brilliant show, honestly. Um, just because I don't need something else to make me cry. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's enough bad stuff going on in the world, and I don't know, when I talk about how much I truly, truly care about you guys, I always get a little misty too, you know, I don't need anything else to make me emotional right now. I'm like a woman that way. Sorry, women. I'm not trying to insult you. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I watch, like, YouTube videos and, you know, answer comments and stuff when she watches that. But it was a commercial while that show was on. And it was, you know, a diamond commercial or whatever. And it had a, a gay couple on it. And I just thought, that is so awesome, dude. You know, I mean, honestly, man, that's freaking cool. Like, whether you think it's okay or not. You know, I mean, I I think when any two people love each other, that's pretty significant. I don't know about you, but, I mean, love is in pretty short supply anymore, unfortunately. You know, just saying, but um, two people loving each other, I can get behind that. That's awesome. I I can get behind that. So, yeah, I think it's, it's good when any two people fall in love, man. Love is love is love. 
But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say, you know, I thought that was cool. Um, I just really like that, you know, they're including same-sex couples now in these commercials about marriage, you know, and love. I think it's great. Um, yeah, so, you know, Sov's random thought of the day. <laughs> Alright, so, um, let's see now here. So, you know what I'd like to do is, I'm gonna make, yeah, alright. You know what I should have, oh, I was gonna say I should have brought some dirt. I do have dirt, sweet. I'm gonna need to do some scaffolding. Now, so I wanted to, um, you know, also do the porch right here. So, let's get this guy down here. Ex excuse me. I'm sorry. He's, like, looking at me. He's like, how dare you punch me? I hate you. Hey, bro. Are you okay, man? I'm sorry, dude. Look at me with your pink mouth, which is very strangely designed. Do, sh do sheep have such pink mouth? Hey! 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 He's totally giving me the cold sheep booty. Ah, there we go. Hi, are we now friends again? Hey, I'm just saying, is it normal for you to have such a pink mouth like that? Is that normal for you? He's. I'm insulting. I'm sorry. I keep insulting him. He's like, get away from me. You know, I do have oak stairs in my house. I should have just, or in my store, I should have just brought some too. But, oh well. Yeah, that's cool. All right. So, yeah, like that. Let's do... Whoop. Hmm. Let's actually go a little bit higher here now. Alright, yeah. So, let's not do that. Let's do... Excuse me. Shh. You're annoying. You're disruptive. No, wait. I don't want to do that many. Just four. Good, thank you. Alright. Now, so we'll do three like oop, there, like that. Yeah, and then three that way. I'm going to make this porch a little bit taller, so. Is that too tall now, though? Hmm. Yeah, dude, that's too tall. I'm sorry, guys. That's freaking crazy. Just no. It's just, that's too tall. Okay, it's all right. It's cool. That's cool. Alright, so now, let's do, let me see here, let's get some slabbage going. Okay. Ah, butt face. Alright, now I have the outline, so let's just get rid of it, so we can actually use this wood, you know. Be smart about it, save it here. Oh, these are slabs too, nice. Very cool. It's nice, I can use these slabs to do the actual porch itself now. Alright. Dude, where am I hearing the zombies and stuff from, man? There's got to be a cave, like, down there somewhere or something. I don't know. Hmm. Odd. So let's just outline it this way now. Oh, get it right here. And yes, guys, I will probably do another montage as well of, you know, me doing this, so... Hope you were all right with that, because um, you know, again, it'll take me forever to do this house. All right, cool. So now then, let's get to over here. You know, do it this direction. All right, cool. Let's get these guys. I need to go to sleep. It's dark now. I don't like it. Yeah, I figure a nice wraparound porch, you know, like that'd be freaking sweet, so. Alright, cool. Oops. Oops. Alright, there we go. Now, cool. Oh, alright, move you here. Oh, I'm just gonna have to move it again, so let's move you here. Oh my god! No. There. Okay. Alright, right here. Da, 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 and over here. 
one more. That, and right there. Okay. A bam. All right. Cool. Okay, so now we've got the uh, basic outline of our porch here. Nice wrap around. Yeah. Okay. All right, now, so let's get. Um, now let's start to do the roof here, though. Actually, let me go to sleep, as I had said. I want to. Let's move our bed over here, too, so it's nice and close to us now. Have to have it closer. Oh, man. You know what? I'm very worried that I'm going to make this house look like poop. I freaking just. Oh, man, dude. I suck at houses. I'm really trying to make this one, you know. Good. My best house, honestly. Yes, I'm not using my Ghostbusters mug today. And you know why? Because I don't take sips of coffee as often when I'm in the middle of doing a recording. And oop, and in a, a mug without a lid, it gets cold so much faster. Like, it, it's, it's freezing before I know it, dude. And I'm like, no, where'd my coffee go? It's cold, dude. Alright, so now let's just get a little meal. Cool. Alright. Mm, yeah, well, see, no, no. That, okay. That, that, oh, shoot. Okay, now, we get that. Over here. Okay, whoa. Look at that, that bug up the up there, top of the screen. Oh, and you know, by the way, I do want to say, uh, in reference to um, the replay mod, you know, if you're in a dishonest kind of player, um, then yeah, you might want to stay away from the mod, honestly, uh, <clears throat> because it's. Um, it allows you to see right through the world. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it'll. I mean, it's it's basically the same thing as being in spectator mode, and so you can go through anything. Now, the limitation is you cannot go outside of a loaded chunk. So wherever you know you are as the player during you know you're flying around with this camera in replay mod, if you go outside of where the chunks are loading because you're in that area, then it's just, it turns into a blank world. You know, you can't even see the loaded chunks when you're outside of the chunks. Everything just disappears, you know? So then you have to go back into the chunk and then you can see it again. But while, you know, I have my chunks up to like 16 or 20 or something right now. So, I mean, everything that you, well, actually I turned them down a little bit. Yeah, right, okay. I turned them down a little bit though um, because doing the replay mod, It'll go, mm, 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 you know, when there's a lot going on. It fixes that in rendering, so don't worry about that. Uh, but, you know, it was it was annoying for me, so I turned them down to 14, actually. But, you know what, still, though, all that you can see here, you can see that under the ground, too. And let me tell you, it's actually pretty cool. Um, but I, I don't, you know, do it intentionally. I just kind of discovered that totally by accident. Uh, but let's be honest, you know what? I would probably find that anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I go underground, I would find all this cool stuff anyhow, so, and, you know, I don't really care if I see it or not. I don't go right away, you know, head down there and go, ooh, I'm going to grab that, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know, I mean, just, right, okay, cool. <laughs> um, oh, alright, yeah, we need to get that right here, so let's do, let's do, no, not that way. Oh man, it's so much easier seeing this thing work on uh, like creative mode, dude. Oh my god, man. I first heard about it watching Grian's videos. If you guys never heard of Grian, I really enjoy him as a YouTuber. You know, he's a very, very good builder. He has an exceptional uh, taste and sense of design. Um, I don't know. I The thing that worries me, I don't know if I'm just totally being stupid here or not, but um, the thing that worries me... Is that you'll notice, you know, like, some of these bigger YouTubers, they all kind of have their specialty. You know what I'm saying? So, like, like Grian, you know, he's a designer, man. That dude freaking builds, right? Um, you know, FedEx, Mumbo, those guys are Redstone. You know what I'm saying? Like, they could build a decent house, but you know that, I mean, they aren't that great at building the houses. You know, what they do is Redstone, man. It's like freaking, you know, and, um... But uh, then there's those other YouTubers, you know, like Rian, who aren't so great at redstone, you know, but they are exceptional at 
design. I don't think I'm very good at either one right now, so I really hope that, um, I don't know, I hope that changes, because really it's it's kind of like, man, dude, I, I don't know, I, I seem to have no freaking talent, so, <laughs> I, I don't know, man, I hope that changes, I have no talent right now, <laughs> so yeah, now I'm a little worried about it. Okay. All right. Now, so I want to do this very, again, you know, differently from my other houses. I'm just, dang it. <laughs> you know, I'm just kind of going to do the, uh, oh, 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 say can you see by the dawn's early light. Oh, I heard it again. It was like, brr, down there, dude. What the heck, man? Shoot, I am so tired. Get out of my way. Get, don't run back over here. I should do it. You know, the only way to, to take care of that is you have to place a block where the magic invisible block is at. Just so you know. Alright, cool. So now, but uh, I don't know honestly what I was even saying. But yeah, I want to make this different, you know, for my other houses. So I want it to be really good and look really cool. So, alright. Now, the thing I'm going to do is, you know, I'm kind of going to take his advice... I'm going to do the roof first, basically. You know, I mean, normally I do, like, all the walls and everything, and then I kind of start to work on the roof and stuff. But you know what? I'm going to do the roof because that will kind of dictate, you know, the shape of the rest of the house. Yeah. And so, that, come on now, is what I'm going to do. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, again. But yeah, oh, I was going to say, I'm sorry guys, I totally got sidetracked, man, freaking, duh. So yeah, I heard about this because I watched Green's videos, you know, I heard about the replay mod, I watched Green's videos, and he mentioned, oh, you know, by the way, in like the millionth video of his I finally watched, he finally mentioned it, he's like, oh, and you know what, by the way, um, you know, I'm using the replay mod to do this, I'm like, oh, okay, what's that, that sounds cool, uh, and so I looked into it, and yeah, it's amazeballs, guys, it's amazeballs. Okay, so, all right. Now, let me see here. That's about center, too, yeah? Uh, okay, so now we can actually bring that roof down a little bit. But you know what? I think I want to go higher up. So, all right, guys, you know what? We've been working on this house plenty long enough. Now, we are going to go and montage it so we can actually get something done. And you guys will still be able to, you know, see me kind of doing it. That's what I love about the replay mod so much. You know, it's like it not only, you know, lets you continue to play and do what you need to do and everything, but it lets those of you watching, you know, actually see what I'm doing. And it looks so freaking great. It's so cool, dude. I love it, man. So, yeah. All right, guys. We're going to start doing a montage of this bad boy here. So, and I will try not to overuse the whole montage thing. But you know what? It's really going to save me from using too many empty, you know, empty moments in making Minecraft videos. So, yeah. Um, whoops. So, we're going to go ahead and montage this guy out, and we'll see what we can get, we'll, what we'll come up with. All right? So, guys, we'll be back in a second. Enjoy the montage. It's going to be awesome.
Whew, okay. All right, guys, so this is what we've got done so far. Now, I, I, I don't have the energy to continue for a little bit. I need to take a break, you know, step back, kind of kind of look at it, you know, and see, uh, see what I'm going to do. Um, you know, obviously, uh, not planning through a specific build, which is something I never, ever do. Um, you know, and just kind of using the roof to tell me how to do the shape of the house. You know, it, I mean, it's actually working out really, really good so far. Of course, I'm going to have to fix a few things, but, you know, that's not a big deal. That's actually very much to be expected. And frankly, it's going better than I thought it would. Um, but, you know, we, I'm running into a, you know, a few little things with the roof I'm not too sure about. So we're going to step back for now, you know, take a break from it. And, um, I don't know, get back to it in an episode or two. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll jump back in, kind of check it out and uh, see where we want to go from here. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. Now, I know that I definitely do want to... Uh, let me get this. All right. I know that I definitely want to do something different, I guess, with the roof back here. I'm not totally sure. Um, because, you know, if I just do this roof back here the same way all the way across, it's going to be a lot of the same thing. You know, it's going to be very, 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 very repeating pattern. And, you know, that just doesn't look good in a build. So I'm going to have to think on that, you know, figure out what I want to do with the roof. And uh, this this part, I'm planning to more or less be, you know, a bit of an attic section. You know, it's the highest point of the whole house, and it has, like, you know, a more pointed off roof. So it's going to kind of be like a little attic thing, you know. And um, so, yeah, hopefully, um, I don't know. I mean, honestly, the house design may end up just being, you know, something where this actually served no function up here. It's simply aesthetic, you know, for the outside, but it just, it serves not any real function or purpose. But, you know, I mean, really, if that's the case, I don't mind. I want it to look good. The inside will be what it is. You know, I'll work on it after the house is built. Um, but you know what? I'm cool with this right now. So, and of course, you know, it's a lot of brown and muted colors. So we will definitely be doing some detailing on it as we go through when we start finishing the structure and the build itself. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, I think it's actually coming out pretty great. Uh, I've never made a house with a roof quite that nice before, and that's not even that good, honestly. Um, but you know, for me, that's all right. So I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it right now. So thank you guys so much. You know, next video, I think what we're going to do though, is I need to do a whole lot of terraforming in here. Um, I don't know, there's just a lot of different things I notice as I go, and I just really want to fix, so you know what I think I'm going to do, is I'm going to do the next episode, maybe, uh, in, like, a montage with, uh, replay mod, you know, and I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to fix whatever, you know, I feel like doing, and then I will narrate over that, so I'm still talking to you, you know, and then we'll talk about the backstory for Buck and everything, you know, so we'll do all that cool stuff. So yeah, um, I think we got a plan for next video. Something I've been really, you know, wanting to do is kind of fix up the landscape around here just a little bit. Um, I mean, because you know I do a lot of uh, terraforming and I do end up doing most of it off camera because it's all very time consuming. And it's not something I'm sure that you want to sit there and watch for that long, you know, forever and ever. But I mean, you know, the big part of a Let's Play is for you to see, you know, my my process and, and how, you know, I go about doing everything. So it's important for you to at least see some of that. And so, yeah, I think that's a, that's a great way to do it, you know, is is do it montage with the, um, with the replay mod. So you guys can still kind of, you know, see me do it. You can see my process as I go through, but you're not just like, oh my God, dude, nothing's getting done and it's freaking been, you know, 20 minutes. Uh, so, I mean, you know, I could squeeze two, three, four hours in, you know, the replay mod in a half hour, 45 minutes worth of a video while I'm talking. So, you know, a lot would get done for you and, um, you know, just be, uh, it'd be pretty entertaining for you all the way around, I think. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching as always. I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.